Greetings, signs and moons. We're going to go ahead and get into clarifying this energy. If you haven't checked out part one, a link for that will be in the description box below. Okay. So, obviously, somebody tried to get somebody locked up. Somebody was locked up. But this is, this could be somebody that was going through some form of transformation. So, maybe somebody felt like they had you trapped. OK, especially if they did some sort of spell work, this person was committed to this or this is somebody that you had some commitment with some contract with. Maybe somebody wanted commitment OK, to gain something here. All right. Uh, for some of you, you changed while in this transformation energy. Somebody may also be realizing that you changed. And this, this is causing somebody some discord because somebody did something to keep somebody from moving forward or moving towards you. They wanted to create an obstacle. Why is the courthouse here? The fish. Well, main character. Why is this here? Yeah, so sensuality. So this is something that was destined to be. This is about an action, again, that someone took in the past or somebody's currently taking that is going to leave somebody in, leave somebody in sorrow, in regret here, or somebody's regretting an action that they took, especially if they wanted to create an obstacle. I'm hearing a barrier or a foundation, okay? So... Somebody's realizing why somebody wanted to partner with them. They're realizing why they face this judgment here. Why is the fish here? You can show me what it is I need to see. Yeah, something happened over the year or years. This came out on the fence as well. Cosmic flow. All right. So again, somebody wanted to, somebody wanted to keep someone from streaming, swimming with the stream. Interesting enough. I said, um, clarifying the fish and cosmic flow came out. So somebody felt like they were going to gain something here. Most definitely. Somebody felt like they were going to gain something in this situation. Possibly some wealth because the fish... You know, that's an indication of wealth. But for some of you, this could have something to do with a child. Maybe someone that they were going to gain something from from a child that was meant for a child by having a child. OK, but something changed here because something that somebody thought was very um, is not is not hidden. OK, and for some of you, this this may have took taken place years ago. OK, and maybe this is why somebody felt like they won something here because some time passed in this situation. Maybe you were isolated for some time or this person was the garden. Why is this here? Advance. So we got moving forward. Progress, improvement, to make something happen earlier than originally expected, to further the progress or improvement of something. Outcome, mysterious business, caution, some hard work, action, discipline. Okay. So I feel like people in the community is watching this empress work hard. These would be people that knew something about you or they knew something about this person. Okay. Because this is on top of the garden here. So this is talking about the community. It's talking about uh, gatherings. Okay. Um, it could be an event or something like that here. People may be holding you in high honor. This could be somebody that is getting some public acclaim. Okay. Or something like that. If this is someone that thought that did something Maybe tried to have you shadow ban. Maybe tried to take you out. People know this about this person. Are they realizing why this person did this? Or you are. Are they re realizing why you, whoever this is. Yeah, they were trying to cause a distraction here. 
this is that whole get your hand out of my pocket scenario uh, where somebody's on a podium here. They got something profound to say. This is um, an agent of change in a good way. Right. And um, somebody in their camp, in your camp here, somebody that is power hungry. They're obsessed with control here. Somebody's very competitive. For some of you, this could be somebody's wife or a mother, uh, a family member here that doesn't like you. Okay, so I feel like this person was placed between a rock and a hard place with loyalty here. And so somebody stays stuck here uh, and they're gaining some form of knowledge about a mistake. Yeah. And somebody's moving away. Okay. I feel like in the last reading, they talked about baby steps or was that this reading? I don't know. Um, two of Wands. Why is this here? Man, that came out. We got the beacon. So you definitely shined a light on this on this situation or something was shined. Some light was shined on this situation. Now somebody can't rest. Um, they're having anxiety. This is somebody that's very animated. OK, because some action that they took. OK, with the two of wands here on the fence like that in the upright, it uh, one of the one of the. Uh, I guess terms or definitions for this card would some be somebody waiting for something here. Okay, they they were waiting for something to end for you. Yeah, and, and now this person is overly emotional because you're this light here. You're shining bright, or whoever this is is shining bright. Maybe somebody wanted someone's attraction to you or for you to end. This person is still passionate about you. I don't feel like, yeah, this person is very passionate. Um, but for some of you, it's for the wrong reasons. Somebody is in that energy of trying to manifest a false reality, a false person to send them towards you. For some of you, somebody's trying to give you thoughts of a past person to keep you stuck. It's like, mm, this is the crossroads. Why is this here? Somebody could have literally went to the crossroads with the crossroads and the, and the grave being here. <sighs> Boundaries that came out in the last reading. So, yeah, uh, somebody kept somebody got a strong defense team. OK. You don't want this person back that love bombed you or they want you to always be nostalgic. OK, this is somebody that continuously, repeatedly did things wrong to you, whether if you knew it or not. But they want you to be in this illusion like everything is all right. And it's definitely not all right. With law being here, this is somebody that was judge and jury. For some of you, you may be celebrating a cycle being complete. OK, yeah, insight, grief, and, you know, you being able to keep these boundaries instilled is causing somebody great grief here. Okay. Um, because I feel like somebody was using a lie or some form of sorcery to peek behind the veil or to break somebody's defense here. Three of Swords. Yeah. Prosperity, acceptance. So we got a written or verbal indication that somebody agrees to an invitation. The willing recipient of a gift or payment, willingness to believe that something is true. The realization of a fact or truth resulting in someone's coming to terms with it. The tolerating of something without protesting. Willingness to treat someone as a member of a group or social circle. Outcome, take care, caution. There will be some quarreling action integrity. Oh, my goodness. I feel like this is this got in-laws or exes all written all over it. Because it's clarifying the three of swords is definitely speaking about family, whether if it's yours or theirs. For some of you, you're being accepted into something or somebody's accepting the truth about what was revealed about their family, your family or something like that. Because somebody's in this empress energy. Prosperity is empress energy. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh. I might have to throw a sound effect in and got them little teenagers, you know, outside, you know. They testosterone is going. They wanna you want they wanna get out there and du du duke it out, you know. I just wanna stay away from the window. Why y'all so loud though? I don't get it. I mean I get it but I don't. I guess I could say people need to pay closer attention to their children, but the, the, around the time that I'm doing this, this is time for school to be let, getting let out. So more than likely it was an incident that may have took place at school that may be trickling over, you know, their parents could be at work or something like that, you know. And uh, we definitely have Paige and Night Energy, you know, and so that's that's another, um, indication here. I don't know if y'all was able to hear it because I, I plan to put a sound effect so you know, you two be tripping and the word that they said could get me a strike. <laughs> so I'm going to bleep that out, but we're talking about aggressive energy. Um, somebody coming to the realization of something and obviously there being some altercation that takes place all right, that incident that happened outside, that wasn't a coincidence here, okay? We're talking about aggression. Um, let's see, why is the child here? Oh, I got low power mode again. All right, let me stop this and charge. All right, my bad, y'all. So I gotta pick up where I left off. It's been a little minute. I have to let my device charge here, but... Um, Somebody didn't have all the information, okay? Somebody wasn't realistic. It's like, this is why this is giving me like a parent issue. The whole incident that took place with the children outside, the, the childlike energy that I'm getting from this reading, and the denial here, the denial that somebody is capable of doing something here. All right, so this is why this is giving me like a shock. Um, maybe someone may have said that they didn't have anything to do with it. You may have find, might maybe finding out that that was not the truth um, for whoever is involved in this situation here. Why is the child here in reverse? Either show me what it is I need to see. Somebody was also, again, thinking too small. Yeah. Um, so somebody had a fall from good grace here. Okay. Somebody wasn't innocent. This is someone that you had high expectations of, or people think of this person highly. All right. Um, yeah, for some of you, you're recovering from a loss of a child. That's what I'm getting here. All right, so this child, if that is the case, may be one of your guides. I feel like if that's the case, this child was like, they they, they possibly weren't scared of much. I'm, I'm getting that whole dare, D-E-V-I-L, like they... Um, this would be somebody that was very adventurous if this was a child that was uh, passed over here. You may have, you may felt felt like you didn't get enough time with this child, but somebody went within and realized something. Maybe that this child energy is still around you, possibly guiding you way away from someone that means you no good. Others of you, this is surrounding someone that's not innocent. This may or may not be your child. This could be a childish individual that you may have a child with or you wanted a new beginning with or they wanted a new beginning with you. Take it how it resonates. Why is the star card here in reverse? Not getting your physical or spiritual needs met, dull, stagnant, inactive, does not feel connected in no sexual spark with the star card here in reverse. Um, you know, somebody could 
be suffering from some form of illness or depression. This could be somebody that's very arrogant, very materialistic, um, you know, and they're uh, facing some judgment through their finances here. OK, if this is someone that poked fun of people that was less than fortunate, now they're getting a chance to see what that feels like. And anytime I speak about uh, financial issues, physical issues, mental health, DV, I have to give a disclaimer that if you are facing any of those obstacles, seek out the proper authorities. This reading is for entertainment purposes only. And that's not to downplay your situation. It's because I have to. OK, why is the cross here in reverse? It's the logical thing for me to do. OK, while I'm on this platform. All right. So we got one, one, one. OK, that reading where I did. Um, is, is that? Oh, I'm just thinking about it. At the time that I'm doing this reading, that reading is not released. So by the time that you see this reading, it may or may not be released because I had, you know, I was on the fence about putting it out because it was very heavy. Um, you know, but I feel like this could be surrounding somebody that you nurtured, somebody that didn't nurture you. Um, somebody that didn't see you as a gift or beneficial, okay, or maybe even logical, all right? In that reading that has 111 on it is definitely connected with this reading and possibly the reading that I did before this, okay? So I'm doing two readings in one day. You may not see both of the readings that I'm doing on the same day, so check out the last um, three days or so of readings because that one, one, one energy came out in that reading that has one, one, one on the thumbnail. And so we got angels are supporting you as you move on. Set your intentions. What you want is coming. And that is on top of the cross. So definitely we're speaking about a passed over loved one that is a guardian now. For some of you, it could even be a pet. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but for somebody, it is. And you may see signs of it. I don't know. So, I don't know. Something about a garden. Maybe in the garden. Did you, did you bury him in the garden? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But you are seeing signs of this. Now, if this is triggering you, my apologies. I do not mean to trigger you, but as I laid that card down, on cosmic flow, somebody, you know, this may be a tearjerker for someone, okay? But I feel like it's tears of, of, of joy here because somebody doesn't feel fulfilled. And for some of you, it's because you lost someone, okay? Or something such as a pet or something like that. And that's why we got the cross here. It's kind of like, I don't know. Oh, I don't know why Pet Cemetery just came. First, I had the monkey king. Now, I just got pet. Let me. And so, something was unexpected. Somebody is going to throw, get thrown into their emotions because of what they see, what they realize. They're going to connect the dots. And, yeah, the answer is yes for whoever. Uh, for some of you, somebody passed on a situation because it was no abundance. They may have passed on you. Uh, um, you misjudged you, okay? Or somebody's being passed on. Or somebody passed on, okay? And this passed on loved one may be saying that, you know, this is null and void here. It's like they're showing you signs, but somebody may be too engulfed in the hurt and the trauma to realize that we got demon imagine this is giving me um overthinking something like overthinking maybe even blaming yourself um for what took place here and this person is because there was some sort of truth that is being revealed that has been revealed or the truth about what somebody is avoiding it's like they don't want to accept it, okay? That this person does things in secret. 
This is uh, throw your throw throw rocks high hands with the drama and the child support here, and somebody's gonna gain enlightenment. This is also somebody that is not thankful for what God bestowed upon them, or they may see you, okay, or people see you as um, not thankful here. Why is the grave card here in reverse? Okay, so for some of you, this is a nephew, brother, masculine energy. It could be your nephew, brother, uncle. You could be the nephew of this empress here. Son, brother. Yeah, look at that. To a giddy sidekick that's down for whatever. Somebody's child's mother. And this is on top of, you know... Somebody that has low self-worth. They're vicious and spiteful. The Leo energy came out in the reading before this. Somebody could also be Aquarius. This is somebody that you do not want a second chance with. They are teaming with the karmic. Are they in karmic energy here? Are they, yeah, they may be with the karmic. Deceptive or misleading witness statements. So all of these, you know, somebody gave false witness um, maybe even false documentation, okay? This is a bird of a prey. This is somebody that wants to be uh, a divine feminine and they feel like if they get married or if they have a child that they would be this divine feminine energy. For some of you, you already felt like this. This could be a family member of yours or they wanted to be a part of your family, okay? Um, what's at the bottom? Yeah, distraction uses SCX as a weapon. Somebody's in that pick me energy. This is a temptress. This is also somebody that they had a one night stand with and they may have came back and said, look, I'm pregnant. Okay, and that's the situation for somebody. So uh, those of you that are not aware, when these particular cards come out, I always pull from this deck here because again, this could be someone that has passed over for somebody. Um, why is uncle... Explore. Somebody is, yeah, somebody take risks. They like adventure, whoever this passed over person is to you. Um, this could have happened in water. It could have happened when something was raining. Or again, somebody has flow in reverse and cosmic flow is on the fence. Okay. Somebody may have did something. that cause someone's emotions to go run a because look at all this water. This could be a, a the wife of this passed over uncle. A baby mother or something. Um movement. It could be multiple people that were in this deceptive energy. Of course, you could be a dancer. This person may have been a dancer, but I feel like somebody traveled on water a lot. Somebody sending signs for you to be yourself or for this person. Worry is a wasted emotion and ruler. So somebody needs to take ownership leader, okay? It's like um, you need to get focused here. Somebody could also be a Sagittarius that's involved in this situation. Well, we got water in reverse on top of... Somebody could have been holding back their emotions and just acted out hastily. Like, yeah. Some sort of truth is being revealed about this uncle if this is a deceased person. Okay. Somebody could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio with water being reversed here. They wanted to affect this empress um, means of development okay prosperity maybe they held something back okay or you wanted to do this to this person somebody wanted somebody to seem unstable okay and they were doing things repetitively 
uh, possibly call in the authorities repetitively, um, writing false statements, okay, spell work, and then they were waiting for the results of that, even to the point where they, they're restless, they can't sleep. Anticip they're anticipating something, and when it doesn't go how they uh, planned it here, they get really angry and become unstable even. Um, why is the conjurer here? Either show me what it is I need to see. Uh, cancer wanted to come out again. It's, don't let fear make the decision. So um, we got uh, resigning from a position, Hara Ken, taking responsibility for a wrong. So this is someone that is taking responsibility for someone else's actions, some, someone's deceptive family member. Um, they need to accept that, that this person was fearful of something being realized about them, something that they did in secret, something that happened in the past, okay, that had somebody stuck or they attempted to get someone stuck because whoever they were trying to keep stuck is doing something historical, okay? Um, they're making history, whatever, and, and somebody got rejected or they wanted you to get rejected. They, they didn't want you to move forward. OK, um, so for some of you, this person may have an illness here. OK, we got the con man card, Voodoo, and we have uh, your anger, lust and greed is fueling the beast within or without. So this is someone that wanted to push your button so you can appear unstable. But what's really happened is they're becoming unstable because somebody's covered here. It's obvious because it wouldn't be coming up on my channel if they weren't. Maybe it's hard for this person to accept. Somebody's going to explode here. Yeah, because this is somebody that wanted to dominate a situation. For some of you, this is a family member. Somebody's upset because of your strength. we got several indications of Leo. we got the Knight of Wands here, the strength card here, and Leo there. You don't necessarily have to be a Leo, but this is somebody that you moved away from or they need to move away from you. And I'm being guided to end it there. I hope this gave you clarity. If it didn't give you clarity, maybe the next one. Deuces.